Guys, I'm excited today to take you on a tour of a west side area in this driving tour. We are gonna be looking at an area that has a ton of great stuff already going on, but is primed for some continued development in the future. So thanks for joining me on this driving tour where we take a look at Military Avenue in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Welcome back guys to a driving tour here on Military Avenue. We are starting out right by the huge Military Avenue sign off of Lombardi Avenue and we'll be heading north on Military from here. So as we get going, you'll run into right away this combination residential and commercial area. There's a school, there's John Muir Park neighborhood, and then there's also a number of businesses right along this initial stretch. Not to mention we are just minutes away from Lambeau Field on this end of Military Avenue. So this is primarily a major retail and business corridor here on the west side of Green Bay. And it's being developed as such. There is a business district that you can follow along with their work in the area. I'll put the link to their website in the description below. You can also follow their social media and the city is invested in growing this district as well. And then we get up to the Green Bay Nursery, which is a um, awesome garden center here on the west side of Green Bay. And one of my favorite restaurants, the Golden Basket Restaurant, which is right next to it. It's been around as long as I've ever been in Green Bay. We also hit up the Bay Family Restaurant. Also, there's um, some hotel areas right around here, as well as gas and other commercial use spaces. We cross over 9th Street, which is another road that runs through predominantly all of the west side of Green Bay. So if you're looking to get around and you run into 9th Street, that's a main road that goes across the west side of Green Bay. Broadway Automotive is located in here as well, some of their facilities, and we also have food around here as well. There's a place for a farmer's market that they host often in the summer. That's on the corner of Military and Mason. There used to be a strip mall area here. It's currently lost its main company, which was Sears at the time, and now they're looking to redevelop that. If you watch a video that I have coming out soon with Melinda Eck, who is the neighborhood president for John Muir Park and also the alderman in this area, she shares a little bit about some hopes for the future of this area that um, they're looking to redevelop. We cross over one of the main intersections here on Military Avenue and that's with West Mason. West Mason runs pretty much the entire length of Green Bay, if you see that on the map here, and uh, is another main artery if you are trying to get around Green Bay. So when we look at this road, it really is one that's designed around retail and commercial use. On Military Avenue has grocery like Aldi. I know many of my clients ask where the Aldi stores are located in Green Bay because they want to be living near those. They like that grocery option a lot. And then also we've got McDonald's, Perkins, Walgreens, all of these kind of, you know, things that you're, you, you kind of want around just about anybody does when they're living in a in a city and so yeah you've got these kind of places located here the ups store the mcdonald's here has these really cool arches you'll love to take a look at that there's also the original shopco here although shopco is now all but defunct the original building and shopco started here on military avenue in green bay so now once we cross over Shawano Avenue here, which is another main road going through Green Bay, there's a park over to the left here, and then also more commercial stuff along the way to the right. We also run into a couple of other neighborhoods along the way. I'll point those out, cross over a trail, And this is where we see another park on our right. I believe that's Perkins Park on the right there. So this road offers kind of an artery to most of the commercial stuff on the west side of Green Bay. And 
what you can do then or what you see is that around that then are the neighborhoods. They're only maybe a block or two off of military where you'll you'll run into the neighborhoods again. And so it really provides this opportunity for you to have close proximity to the things you need, but also, you know, a close close distance to the residential areas where you would actually, you know, want to live. Another thing you'll see as we come along this road on the right side of the road is a cemetery and that is the Fort Howard Memorial Park or cemetery and it's one of the largest if not the largest one in Green Bay that I know of. And then when we get to this other side of Military Avenue we start getting into the corner of Green Bay where we have Howard on the one side and then the bay and then Green Bay and we get to the roundabout here near the end of Military Avenue and I do want to get around this roundabout because there's a couple cool things at the end of it that are helpful to know if you're living in Green Bay and especially on the west side. So we continue on Military Avenue outside of this roundabout and it really seems like it's all pretty much done at this point. You've got storage units, you've got, you know, some railway stuff and, and other commercial like large scale plant stuff, but there's a bridge. And as we go over the bridge, we run into two special things right at the end. A park on the bay and just down the road there is where you can drop your yard waste. And there's some cool little areas out here where you can just walk and take in the bay. I can't wait to go take a peek at some of this really gorgeous, beautiful bay land out here. Thanks for watching this tour of Military Avenue in Green Bay, Wisconsin. My name is Andrew Guywitz. Subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to get notifications when we release new videos for living in Green Bay.